Welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today I'm reviewing a new carpet cleaner from Hoover, the Smartwash Pet FH5300PC. It's an upgrade from their previous flagship carpet cleaner, the standard Hoover Smartwash, with some new, pretty useful features and attachments. I put the Smartwash Pet through a series of tests and compared it to the previous Smartwash to see which was better and why. So, links in the description and let's get started. First, let's go over some of the basic features. The Hoover Smartwash Pet is part of the new generation of carpet cleaners that are meant to be much easier to use than the bigger and bulkier carpet cleaners of past generations. It has a two rotating brush system, which I found to be one of the best systems for carpet cleaners overall in terms of their cleaning ability. The Hoover Smart Washes in general were designed to take the guesswork out of carpet cleaning, so it has a lot of features that are specifically designed to make it really easy to use. For example, you don't pre-mix or measure out the cleaning solution and mix it with water like you do with most carpet cleaners. Instead, you fill one tank up with solution and one tank with clean water and the machine mixes it for you automatically. Also, you don't manually spray water on the carpet with a trigger like most other carpet cleaners. Instead, the smart wash will automatically spray water on the forward push and will use suction power only on the backwards pull. However, you can bypass this by pushing the dry only button to use only suction power, which you would want to do to make sure the carpet is as dry as possible at the end of the job. Speaking of drying, it has the Hoover Heat Force feature, which applies hot air to the cleaned carpet, which supposedly dries the carpet faster, and it's a feature found on many Hoover carpet cleaners. Now, so far, I've pretty much described the Smart Wash Pet and the original Smart Wash, since other than a few minor design tweaks, they're pretty much the same unit and operate the same way. But the Pet version does have some unique upgrades. The most notable one is the Spot Chain wand. Basically, the handle on the Smartwash Pet doubles as a battery-operated, totally independent pre-treatment sprayer. This would be for particularly difficult stain treatment, and as we'll see in the test later, it's really effective. I actually like this method of spraying pre-treatment much better than, say, the Bissell Spot Clean Pro, which was one of the first carpet cleaners I know of that integrated a pre-treatment spray into the machine, but the Hoover Spot Chaser wand is much more accurate and much easier to use, in my opinion. The other major upgrade from the previous version is the handheld attachment for upholstery or stairs or just tough stains. The handheld unit is larger and has a built-in tangle resistant scrubber which does really seem to make a difference and make it more effective. For comparison, the previous version only had a standard upholstery tool. In terms of the tests, I have been trying to standardize the carpet tests I do lately so that I can more accurately compare carpet cleaners with other carpet cleaners, but basically I use Georgia Red Clay, Grape Juice, and V8 Juice painted onto medium pile carpet, which I let dry for 24 hours. I also create three two inch diameter spots using one tablespoon of each liquid, which I really work into the carpet. I also just started using a very tough to remove glow in the dark lotion like substance worked in in the same manner as the other spot stains. Though I did use the included Hoover brand solution for the Spot Chaser wand, I used a different manufacturer's shampoo for the actual carpet solution. Since I've decided that I need to start using the same brand of shampoo in every carpet cleaner test if I want to determine the actual difference in the machines themselves, since using all manner of different solutions seems to skew the results. So what I found is that I really liked the Smart Wash Pet's performance. In the test, it did remarkably well after four back and forth five second passes on the painted on lighter stains, where it all but cleared the entire area, and the remainder probably could have been cleared with a few additional passes. It should be noted at this point that there was virtually no difference with the regular Smart Wash, which wasn't a big surprise considering they are basically the same machine in terms of the cleaning methods, but in any case, it was a very good performance, far better than average in my opinion. The really impressive part of the test though was the spot cleaning. As expected, the really worked in stains needed a little bit of extra help, especially the glow in the dark stain, which is incredibly difficult to remove. And after four back and forth passes, it hadn't really budged at all. I used the spot chaser wand specifically on the glow in the dark stain and went to work with a handheld tool, which uses a trigger to spray a water and solution mix. Right away, I noticed that what was left of the grape juice and V8 juice stains, which were really worked in, they went away very quickly. And to my surprise, after just a couple of minutes, the glow in the dark stain was almost gone as well, which might not seem like a big deal, but to me, it was pretty impressive. In terms of dry time, I found that pretty much all of these modern carpet cleaners are really good about not leaving your carpet too wet, but the smart washes are probably a little bit better than most since they don't give you the option to just lay on the water trigger like most of them do. I found that it was really easy to use in terms of its overall weight and size. 
The one gallon tank is standard for this class of carpet cleaner, which is more than a spot cleaner in terms of capacity, but small if you're planning big whole house jobs. So in that case, expect to be emptying and filling the tank more than you probably would like to do. As far as the other negative stuff with the Smart Wash Pet, in the past I've said that I didn't really like the automated or ease of use features of the Smart Wash. For example, I didn't like that it pre-mixed the solution because what if I wanted to use a stronger mix for tougher stains? Similarly, I didn't like it limiting the water spray to the forward push. What if I wanted to spray more water? But during these tests, I have to say that I didn't notice those limitations as much. And I think most people probably like not having to think about those things. And so when you add all the upgrades in on the Hoover Smart Wash Pet version, like the Spot Chaser, I have to say that I am a Smart Wash fan again, and I highly recommend this model. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars to keep up with all the latest carpet cleaners, robot vacuums, regular vacuums, and more. Thanks for watching.